How far in the story are we going to experience in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Is it going to go all the way up to the Majin Buu saga? Before then, are we experiencing Dragon Ball Super? Are the, are the, do the movie villains and elements make an appearance? Tree of Might, uh, Bio Broly, Broly? Uh, so, most definitely this game is designed to be the kind of so-called Dragon Ball Z experience. And, and in doing so, the movies, uh, unfortunately, will be making uh, an appearance in the game. Uh, with that being said, there are a lot of Easter eggs that we have carefully placed, including uh, Aider. Dragon Ball Z movie characters won't be available in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. What's good to YouTube? It's your boy Koro back with some Dragon Ball Z Kakarot content. Before we get into the video, make sure to join that round by hitting that subscribe button, Ocha Instinct, and the notification bell so you won't miss out on the upload. With all that being said, let's get into the video. If you guys haven't heard, Dragon Ball Z movie characters won't make it into the game. I'm honestly surprised at this because I don't know if you guys saw my Dragon Ball Super DLC discussion video. If you haven't, the annotation will be up on screen so you can go watch that video if you haven't. But I talked about Dragon Ball Z movie characters being DLC instead of Dragon Ball Super. So it's been confirmed that Dragon Ball Z movie characters like Super Saiyan Gogeta, Broly, Turles, Janimba, and Bojack, etc., etc. You guys get the gist of what I'm talking about. Won't be confirmed in the game. That's crazy. So my question is Cyber Connect to what will? I only have two theories since Dragon Ball Z movie characters won't be in this game as well as Dragon Ball Super. Now the first theory that I do have that um the game can offer we can go experience goku as a kid and fight up against jira tao and demon king piccolo i think that would be a dope experience to play as and kid goku's perspective since we rarely get to experience this side of dragon ball we can do number two they can come up with their own original story for the game to stand out from all the other Dragon Ball Z games, you know. I'm not saying like these games that I'm about to mention, but you know what I'm saying, the same concept like Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and you know, so on and so forth. Other than that, I don't seem to have any other speculations on what they could do for the DLC to prolong the longevity for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. You guys drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments because I want to know what's your take on all of this and maybe you can speculate something better than i can that's going to wrap it up for today's video i really appreciate if you made it this far into the video don't forget to like and share the video with your homie so more people can see this video with all that being said y'all i'm out